This is a short demonstration of CGIT, which is a web interface for Git um, that I think is very good and that I use myself um, and that I highly recommend if you self-host your Git repositories. So um, this is basically what it looks like on the front page. I think, you know, just starting with the front page is really nice. It gives an alphabetical uh, list of all the repositories with short descriptions, very clear and um, with, uh, you know, sort of a, an indication of the activity in each repository. Um, so if we go to my, and you can sort, you know, by various things here. So if we go to the most active repository at the moment, which is EM, we get a summary page by default. You can also manually go to the about page if it exists. But the default page is the, uh, the summary page. Um, so you have a list of branches uh, with the latest commits in each one of them, uh, in each one of them. And then you have like the latest commits in, um, in the current branch, which is the master branch. Um, again, you know, quite a simple interface, but there's a lot of features hidden beneath like this simple look. So for example, um, if we go into a commit here, let's uh, choose this one. We can see that you get some uh, metadata about the commit and you get the uh, commit message and a list of files and then the, the diff itself. And it's quite a long diff. It's quite a lot of changes uh, in many different files. Um, so you'll see that these are actually links. And if you press one of them, let's press the biggest like changes here in EM parse. Um, you'll see that the diff limits itself to EM parse. And this is quite nice. Um, and there are even options here on the right side that you can, I can choose one line of context. Okay, nice. That'll show me only one line of context for each uh, change. I can ignore white space and even do like a side-by-side -side, uh, diff if I want to. Um, and now here's the thing about, uh, about CGIT and the way it inter it, 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 it's a interface works, which takes some time to get used to, but once you're used to it, it's really powerful. Uh, like these changes that I've done now, they're, they're actually saved in the URL. So that's the, like the, the principle of CGIT. Um, state is like saved in the URL. And when you click on other links that, you know, follows, the state follows along. So if I press on the back to the main commit, you'll see that these options that I uh, changed uh, are retained. So I'll still, you know, ignore white space and show only one line of context. And indeed, if I press the tree, uh, the tree uh, tab, if you will, if you will, um, that shows me the current file that I've selected. So you can still see that I'm limited to this file in the diff view, in the commit view, and in the tree view. In, 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 I'm limited to this file as of this commit. Um, and you see, you'll, you'll see this thing here, if I press root, I'll go to the root and then I can browse the commit, the tree and the diff at the root. And I can limit myself to another file and view the commit for that file, the tree for that file at that commit and so forth. So this is a really nice, re really nice um, way of working and of exploring a, a Git repository. And um, I thought I'd make a video about it because it's quite hard to explain with words it's easier to just see a demonstration of it. Um, it's like these features are quite uh, powerful. And, and another example, if I, let's say I just go into a Git repository, um, maybe some other one that's active. Oh, my auto hotkey script. I have that in a Git repository. So let's view the tree. So this is the tree, okay. Let's say I want to look at the, uh, the keyboard script. Here are some keyboard hotkeys. And I want to see, maybe I can see, yeah, if I press log here, I'll see all the commits that apply to that, uh, that file. And this is really nice. This is really, really, really useful. Um, so I, I, as you can see, I still have this file selected and, and these are all the commits uh, that apply to that file. 
And if I go to root, I'll see all the commits that apply to like the root directory. That's all files. Um, and I can switch branches up here. This is another piece of state that I haven't shown yet. But if I switch branches to Windows XP, uh, that'll and I press tree that commit or that state is is saved. Now I'm in the uh, Windows XP branch and viewing the tree for that branch. And if I go into like some file here, go into volume, um, press log, that'll show me the log for that file in the in the Windows XP branch, the diff for that file and so forth. So as you can see, uh, this is really useful. It's really, really nice and consistent way of browsing uh, a, a repository. Like all these things are possible in like GitHub, um, but they're not as consistently done, if you will. And if you like a lot of people, when they move from GitHub uh, to like a self-hosting solution, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll use something other than CJIT, which I th really think is the gold standard. They'll, I don't, I don't know, they, 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 they'll use some other solution that's already developed or they'll develop their own solution. Um, and I think that these are almost always like very limited. Um, it's, it's, it's common for me at least to like um, come across a Git repository and precisely this thing that I did now that I, you know, go to the tree and look at a file and I want to see like which commits affected this file. And that's almost always very hard or impossible to do. Um, like many, many people who self host, self host uh, their Git repositories uh, don't provide this in the front end, which I think is really terrible because th then I have to open like the command line or like a Unix box and uh, download that commit and uh, go through it via the like the git command interface which is also terrible <laughs> so uh, it, it's really nice that uh, cjit provides all of these things and i really recommend it um it would be nice if everybody just uh, used cjit so that i could easily access these things on their repositories anyway that's the demonstration uh cjit you know is available online wherever yeah this page there you go. Um, it's quite easy to install. It requires a web server and uh, CGI. Okay, so that's all. Thanks for uh, watching.